Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some time management tips for moms that will increase your productivity level so much it will give you more peace and make you feel more balanced. Let's jump right in. The whole premise behind these tips is that we are scheduling smarter. We're not working harder, we're scheduling smarter. And what we're going to be doing is scheduling our tasks as homemakers around our energy levels. And I'm gonna share with you these energy levels and when you should be scheduling tasks for maximum efficiency. I'm saying energy levels. I'm not talking about Wawa energy levels. I'm literally talking about low energy, high energy. We all go throughout our days. We feel great at certain times. We feel like we could do a big old project and then we crash and we feel tired and then we feel good again and we all have different energy levels. That's normal. That's how God designed us. So we really need to embrace that and order our days well so that we can be a blessing to our family and to the world. Before we move on to the next part of the video, I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Lauren and this is Whole Catholic Living where my goal is to take you through different areas of my vocation and talk about the balance of it all. So if that's something you'd like more of, go ahead and hit subscribe and the bell notification icon. I'd be so glad to have you. We're gonna start when we first wake up. That is going to be the peak mental energy level. Many people, when they first wake up, they are sharp. If you haven't even opened your phone yet, you haven't been talked to, you haven't made decisions yet, your brain is sharp and you feel on. Now I know some people do have trouble getting up in the morning and getting going, I get that, but we're talking about mental energy, not the physical energy. We're talking about two hours before your peak physical energy, you're gonna have some clarity in your head. This is why it's so important if you're a mom to try to get up before your family. Try, it is so worth it, even if it's just 30 minutes before them, try. And you can do your creative projects during this time. This is your peak mental energy. This is when you can be in your head. You can design the life that you love. You can really be intentional about your day. You can offer it to God. Ask him to make everything you do today good and help you where you will fall short. And just offer all your work as a prayer. This is a good time to do that. Next up is your peak physical energy time. This is usually two hours after you get up. So what I like to do is think about when the family is gonna start needing me big time, and I try to wake up two hours before that. And that way I can really ease into my day. That makes such a huge difference for me. The peak physical energy time, this is when you can do those tasks like your chores, your cleaning, your cooking, you know, the breakfast hustle. If you take your kids to school, you go to school, take them to school, do the carpooling, going shopping, doing repairs. Also during this peak energy time, I found it is the easiest time for me to convince myself to work out. Usually during the day as our energy levels are lowering, it's harder and harder to make ourselves move. This peak physical energy usually lasts about two to four hours depending on you and your circumstances and what activities you're doing. Then you move on to the moderate physical energy level and that is, will also last about two to four hours. And the tasks that are great to do during these times are your sitting tasks that are still productive tasks, such as folding laundry, sewing on a button. I love answering emails during this time and doing simple tasks such as bill paying. I probably wouldn't make a budget during this time or balance a checkbook only because I'm kind of getting tired and I'll probably make a mistake, but I do the little tasks like pay a bill or just do some online stuff and where I'm sitting. Sitting is really awesome during the moderate physical energy level. And then finally, we get to low physical energy and that is about two to 4 p.m. for most people. Now I understand all of us are on different schedules and your rhythm might be different than this one listed here, but you probably can relate to the different energy levels at different times of the day. So just take what I say and apply it to your rhythm. The low energy level a lot of times will happen around 2 to 4 p.m. And this is a time to recline. This is a time to read a book, 
Say your rosary. Is it any wonder that we have the Divine Mercy Chaplet at three o'clock in the afternoon? It is just such a good time to reflect and calm. And really, you're probably gonna need another burst of energy for the evening rush. So take the rest so that you have that extra energy to get through the evening. There is such value in taking rest because A, we were instructed to do so, and B, we are human, we must rest. I love this little story about this man. He had a job and his job was to saw these wood blocks and he was sawing and sawing and he had so many wood blocks and he just kept sawing. And as he continued to saw, the, the saw just got even more dull and more dull and it's becoming harder and harder and he's just working ever so hard to make it happen and crank it out. And his dad comes by and his dad says, son, why don't you take the time to sharpen your saw? And he says, dad, I don't have time. I'm too busy sawing. <laughs> so let's not let our lives be like that. Let us take the time to sharpen the saw, to connect and recharge in the way we need to, and to talk to God and ask him, how did I do this week? How do you want me to do next week? and what can I do better? How can I serve you? Just really pressing into that can make a huge difference in your productivity level and your stress level. Know that you were not put in this vocation by accident and that God really does have a plan for you as you are going about your day to day. Listen to his blueprint. Rest like he tells us to rest. Work like he tells us to work. And most of all, just do it for him. And you can find that balance of feeling productive and knowing that you are living your purpose. I hope you got something out of this video and that you'll come back soon. God bless you and happy homemaking. Goodbye.